Pet love with Pat's two cents. I had a dream this afternoon while I was taking my little afternoon siesta. And in the dream I was crying and praying for this woman. Because these guards, I don't know what she did. But these guards had totally restrained her. And she was literally sandwiched between the two of them. Now she hadn't done much of anything. She was a light-skinned black woman. You could tell she was not a gangster. You could tell she wasn't a drug addict or a dope dealer. She was an ordinary working woman. And she was being harassed by these guards. I walked up to the guards and I laid my hand on her and prayed for her that God would protect her physically. And when I got through praying, the guards let her go. And she sat down. She was shaken, obviously shaken. She had turned beet red. It was like she didn't know why they were bothering her. I'm just getting this impression now. A lot of that might start happening in the United States of America. I honestly believe now, from the last video I was sharing, you know, you'll get what I'm saying there. But I am honestly believing that this country is slowly being overtaken. And our power, our constitution, a lot of things that a lot of rights we have been used to for so long will slowly be chipping away and we will lose a lot of our freedoms. Now, I'm hoping that doesn't happen, even though that's the feeling I'm hoping that really does not happen. And I'm praying. But listen, don't be surprised if you start finding senior citizens I'm trying not to get emotional. If you start seeing city, senior citizens, blind people, deaf people, handicapped people, veterans, uh, poor people, black, white, whatever, poor people, American Indians, Puerto Ricans, whatever, starting to be harassed more and more. Don't be surprised because the more greedy this country gets, the more reasons they will find to slap people in prison and in jail. And the more they do that, the more they can take their stuff and take over. Now, I'm trying not to be paranoid about what's happening, but it really, really is looking bad and it's feeling wrong to me. And there's a scripture in the Bible that says, because sin will abound, the love of many will wax cold. And I'm telling you, the colder people get, the crueler they get. And the crueler they get, the more they pick on the defenseless. So we need to really watch and pray, not just close our eyes and pray. We need to watch and pray, you guys. We need to really be aware of what's going on around us. Because there may be times when something's getting ready to happen. And if you're aware, you can get out of the way in time. But if you're not aware and you're tiptoeing through the tulips with your nose up in the clouds, a lot of harm can come to you and your loved ones because you'll be overtaken without warning. Ask God to keep your senses sharp. Ask him to tell you when it's a day that you should stay in your house. And there may be a lot of those days because the way law enforcement is turning out to be is getting to be more, is getting to be safer to go down a street full of gangbangers than it is to walk past the policemen in certain neighborhoods. Be very careful. Something is going on. I don't know what it is, but I believe money is changing hands. And I believe that money is changing hands so that horrific things can start happening and people will get away with it because they will have the law on their side. The law is not on the people's side anymore, you guys. So be very careful 
Watch your P's and Q's. Watch your mouth. Watch your attitude. Watch your body English. I mean, you, you literally, literally have to start tiptoeing around. Because things, will, weird things are going to start happening that just, that just don't make sense. And people who don't even have any records will start getting hurt. Just because the powers that be can get away with it. Be very careful. When the devil starts to, to, to loose his demons... And they start to take over certain people that are already bent towards violence, that are already sadistic by nature. The cruelty, the cruel things that come to their minds to do for the fun of it gets more and more bizarre. And it gets more and more dangerous. You have to start asking the Lord, even when you're scheduled to go to work, is this a good day for me to go? Or is this a good day for me to stay home? You better, you're better off doing without a day's pay. I don't know why I'm feeling this so strong. But you may have to do with less money in order to stay safe and keep your loved ones safe. Especially those that can't protect themselves. Kids may start disappearing. You might start finding older senior citizens dead in the craziest places, and you're wondering why were they targeted, and there's no real sensible reason. Be careful. Watch yourselves. 